Hey guys, today's video is going to be a product review and demo plus tips and tricks on the time iron. So I don't know if you guys have seen this thing on Facebook, but I was drawn to it when I saw this girl getting like perfect curls in seconds with this odd shaped device. So I don't know if you've seen one of these before, but it's very different from a normal straightener because it's kind of curved and it has guides to show you what to do. So the brown side goes towards your head when you want to curl. Gold side goes towards your head when you want to straighten. There is one button. So there's no heat setting. Just one button that you push, it heats up in literally a minute. So the retail price is $190 for a new time iron. I think that's including shipping. Every so often they do sell them refurbished, I think, or they sell like model ones that they used and just kind of cleaned up for $160. That's the one that I got. And it also comes with this heat sleeve. So when you're done using your time iron, you can just stick it in the heat sleeve and you're good to travel. I don't know if you've seen the YouTube videos on the time iron, but it's just supposed to be able to either straighten your hair or give you perfect curls in minutes. And once you learn how to use it, it takes minutes, it really does. So I did have a little bit of a learning curve with this. I got it a little over a month ago and when I was initially doing it, I was, you know, kind of getting some kinks. I wasn't getting a consistent curl. So I did sign up for a style session through Time Iron, which anyone that purchases a Time Iron can do. It's free, it's included. My style session was with Genevieve and she talked me through what I was doing wrong and how I can get the perfect consistent curl that I wanted. She discussed the different angles with me she discussed straightening with me if I wanted to straighten and it was just so helpful so once I had that style session I was able to get the curls that I was looking for every single time that I picked up my iron I am gonna show you guys how I got this look today I'm gonna show you the whole video I'm not gonna edit it at all so you will see my technique if I made any mistakes you're gonna see any mistakes that I made and how I fixed them and I'm gonna speed it up, but I am gonna show you a timer on how many minutes it took me to do my hair. So it's called your time, like T-Y-M-E, get it? Time iron. And so you'll see how long it took me to get this curl. And it used to take me 45 minutes with my traditional curling devices. So let's see how long it takes me with a time iron. So I will go through some tips and tricks with the time iron, like when it's off so I can really show you the technique. And then I will show you guys the video of how I got this look. I hope you enjoy. See you in a minute. Hey guys. Here's the power button. Once you push it, it will flash blue until the unit is fully heated up and then it will become a solid blue. You want the gold part towards your head when you're going to straighten your hair and then you want to flip it over and put the brown stripe towards your head when you want to curl your hair. Whether you're curling or straightening your hair, you always want your thumb behind the power button. This is the proper way to hold your time iron. If you want to straighten your hair, put the gold part towards your head. When you want to curl, you put the brown part towards your head. Just to reiterate, you want your thumb behind the power button and to curl, you want the brown stripe towards your head. Genevieve taught me to put my fingers in a scissor-like motion to spread out my hair to get a thicker curl. All right, so when you want to curl, brown stripe towards your head. If you spread out your hair and put your curling iron towards the bottom and then move it up before clamping, it'll be easier for you to kind of grab onto your hair. When you clamp down, you don't want to clamp down too hard or you'll get kinks and you want to make a motion kind of like you're revving up a motorcycle, like you're gently moving your wrist forward and turning it. Also pay attention to where my hair is on the iron. It's kind of in the middle of the iron. Too high or too low and you won't get a good curl. Okay, let's do this. It's demo time and time to find out my time time.
I just want to add that it is usually easier if you start from the back of your hair and work your way forward. Also, I should have done this, but I did not. It is very helpful if you kind of clip up half of your hair, like the top half of your hair, curl all the bottom, and then release the top of the hair and curl that. That just kind of makes it so you don't miss any hairs anywhere. So this is the finished look. I just did it the way that I would normally do it. This is the kind of curls that I normally like. I normally like them to be a little bit tighter. You can make them looser, beachier curls depending on the angle that you hold this. So I guess I could recurl something for here. I'll take this one. So if you want like looser, beachy curls, you can take your iron and clamp it and you don't go as vertical. You see how this is facing that way instead of facing down? So, and then you can just kind of brush them out to get the looser kind of curl. It really just depends on the type of curl that you're looking for. Oh, I found, found a random straight one. So this is pretty much how I like my curls. Sometimes if I want them a little bit looser, I can just kind of brush them out a little bit. But I really love the body and the fullness that it gives me. Sometimes I do curls facing towards my face. Sometimes I draw them away from my face. Sometimes I alternate. So yeah, that was just the technique that I normally use. And what I love about these curls is that you can kind of manipulate them to get them to curl a little bit more and they will last like my whole shift. So I mentioned earlier in the video, I did have a style session with Genevieve and I curled my hair and I took a picture of what my curls looked like immediately after I did that style session and I will insert them like right after I'm done talking in a second. And then I took another picture 16 hours post curl. So I will kind of put them side by side or one right after the other now.
So it used to take me 45 minutes to curl my hair. I would either curl my hair with either my hair straightener or my Babyless Pro Mirror Curl. Could not get curls of this quality with my straightener. It's probably the user, it's probably me. Could not get consistent curls with my straightener. Like not to mention the fact I would take 45 minutes to curl my hair and by the end of the day it would be like flat again. It might be like loosely wavy. My hair actually holds these curls and with my Babyless Pro Mirror Curl, it would give me a super nice consistent curl and the curls would last all day, but it took me 45 minutes to curl my whole head of hair and it was slightly terrifying because like the, I don't know if you know, but the Babyless Pro Mirror Curl is like the curler that like sucks your hair up and heats it and then you have to like release it, but it's like and it looks like it's eating your hair and a couple times my hair got like stuck and there is like a mechanism where if you like freak out and like pull it a little bit, it will release but I was just always terrified that it wouldn't release. And if for some reason you got like a bad one, like you didn't get a genuine baby list, which I heard some people didn't, like it wouldn't release your hair and some people like burn their hair off. So I much prefer how safe this one feels. You know what? I need to curl this one, this one like hair over here near my bangs. I don't, it's bothering me. It's like too long. You, you come here. Come here, let me kill you. I must curl you, little hair. Little baby hair. Oh, this only took me 11 and a half minutes to get a full head of curls. I really love that. And if I do see any like random spots that I missed, it's so easy to fix. Like you just take your time iron. It only takes a minute to heat up. So it's not a big deal if like you turned it off and you walked away and they're like, oh my God, I missed this whole section. It takes a minute to heat up again and it'll take you like two minutes to curl the rest of your hair. So that's pretty amazing. I really love this. I feel like I can wear my hair curly so much more now than I used to. I used to only do it maybe twice a year. And this is the fourth or fifth time that I've done this. So I really love I really love this product. I don't know what else to say. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully the tips and tricks that I gave you helped. If not, all you have to do is go on the Time Iron website and schedule a style session. So if you bought a Time Iron, you're having problems with it, all you have to do is go online. It normally takes like a week or two because they're really kind of backed up. So if you're having problems, go online now and just set a time and a date and they can either Skype you or FaceTime you. They'll watch you curl your hair, see what you're doing wrong and help walk you through how to get the type of curls you want and how to correct any mistakes that you're making. My style session with Genevieve was so amazingly helpful. So I absolutely love that. If you get most hairstyling tools, you don't have that kind of customer service, you don't have that kind of assistance. So I absolutely am amazed by the customer service with Time Iron. They were so helpful. And I love that you can have as many style sessions as you need. So I really only needed one to kind of get the curls that I was looking for, which is <laughs> these right here. But if for some reason you do your style session, maybe the style session goes great and you think you got it down and then a couple days later you're like, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? I'm messing up again. All you have to do is schedule another style session and they will give you as many as you need to figure out what you want. So that's really nice. Love how many looks I can get with this. I can straighten it perfectly straight with the gold side. I can curl it with the brown side. And as for how long my curls last, like I mentioned, they did last like a whole, 16 hours on me like where they were perfectly curled all day all night and then I slept on them and one side was kind of flat and I didn't have time to do touch-ups but you can really just recurl like at the peak of the curl so you know at the peak like the the side that kind of pokes out take your time iron and start curling from that point and get perfect curls again but I just threw it up in a pony the next day and I had the most beautiful bouncy ponytail that day I was impressed by my beauty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really though. If you enjoyed just learning about the time iron, please give this video a thumbs up. You know that you found this video helpful and that you're enjoying my content. Subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. I usually try to put two to three videos up a week. If you are interested in makeup, hair, styling, skincare, just hit that subscribe button. I also do giveaways every so often, so you have to be a subscriber to enter those. So definitely, if you're interested, 
subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, just Beauty Obsessed RN. You can also follow me on Snapchat. My Snapchat name is AMH730. And comment me down below with any questions you might have or your experiences with the Time Iron. I would love to hear them. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, God. Sorry. I farted.